Just missing a little now, Arantxa, and there's a red sign, I think, whirring around. Love 30. She got her share. Third double fault. And here are two break points. Well, she gave Steffi a two love lead in the second set and got away with it, but it's uh, not exactly an advisable tactic. <laughs> Good that she can smile. It's like a magnet, isn't it? Every time Steffi gets one close in at the net, what does she do? She hits it straight at Arantxa. It's been most extraordinary. Just thinking, Simon, Arantxa, when she closed out that second set, had a beautifully positive game, really served well, went for her shots. She's just got herself in a little sort of defensive frame of mind at the start of this third set, allowing Graf to dominate the rallies again. Two love. Steffi now, but uh, just got the feeling the drama is far from over here. Shots of the match. Draws a rancher in. This is quite deliberate tactics here. And a rancher's covering that side this time, but Graf's accuracy. You see, she does that time and time in practice. And she comes up with it in the match. What a difference. raised again, her game yet again, and at the moment, and maybe it is only for the moment, Arantxa can't go with her. She will feel bitterly disappointed. She wasn't able to get it back, but Steffi now sailing away with his third set. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, especially in a match like this, but the clouds are thickening overhead from the direction in uh, which the wind is blowing. Merci. 
just let it rest with that. It's love three, third set. Sanchez Vicario he follows Arancha right round the world and has seen the uh, amazing highs. Some of those as well, not too many of them. That's good. Steffi says there's no even no need to check it. And uh, shows She's uh, not terribly impressed with him coming well, off his chair. Now, what's happening here, Steffi, uh, Simon, is yeah. that Steffi says, no, the call came, and so I didn't go for it. He's now overruled. She admits it was good. Yes. Now you can hear Steffi saying he called early. She looks down to where the supervisor is, as if she might get some reprieve. And I think she's got a point. She's talking to Georgina Clark there, who is the WTA Tour Executive for Europe and is a Wimbledon umpire, umpired the ladies' final in 1984. <laughs> Steffi is too experienced to let that kind of thing affect her. Oh. I think that one was for the umpire. Unreal. Hasn't timed anything better all afternoon. 30 all. does manage to force a mistake it takes her so long fantastic retrieving again but here could well be a crucial nail being driven home break point for four love feeling now that Steffi's dominance is such that she can only lose it. Arantxa at the moment hasn't got a hope of beating her in this form, but it may go as Steffi gets nearer the winning post. Arantxa's lost that intensity that she had in the second set. She's making more errors. She's tired. She's done an awful lot of running. You're tired physically and mentally. She'll keep on running, and running, but the sharpness is gone. Two roll backhands in a row, and that's a sure sign that Graf is feeling confident. The anxious looks to the... Uh, Skies now, it's getting very dark indeed. A 
Correct. There's the sharpness. Sorry, David. Yeah. No, no, no. Um, she's just half a pace slower now, isn't she? She's half a pace later yeah. getting to those retrieving shots. Few spots of rain. Shots were all going in in the second set, and now hardly any of them are. 40 love, this for a 5 love lead. S'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît, merci. A lot of movement in the crowd as people search for coats. Closing towards her fourth title, and the look from Marisa says it all. It's raining, and quite hard too. We may not get the finish of this match right now. Umbrella's going up, as you can see. Patrick Varel asked to play on. There is a heavy black cloud overhead. But at the moment, they're going to carry on. Aranchis serving to stay in this final. A final in which she's played so well in. And the crowd are booing the rain. They, get, they can't really make a start, I don't think. He looks across for some advice from the uh, chief referee, Gilbert Izan, and sure enough, they're coming off. Arantia was very sensible then. She was delaying for all she was worth because it's her one chance then was to get off and regroup. It's five love, Steffi, in this deciding set. And now they're not messing around. The covers are straight on. And uh, this may be a slightly longer break than the first one let me amplify what i was just saying your five love down everything has gone away from you she looked absolutely exhausted we didn't realize it at the time but it seemed to me that a rancher had given absolutely everything in that second set she'd run down everything she'd pulled off some spectacular winners and she didn't have anything left to give if she gets now an hour you're fresh again somehow you think I've got just an outside chance. It seems hopeless, but at least you've got a breather. But Steffi will be feeling very good about herself in the changeover. Clearly become very tired, but take nothing away from the lady in your picture. In previous years, in previous matches, in that sort of situation, having lost the lead, she's fallen away fairly badly in the third set, but she came back out determined and has played a very smart third set. But maybe the, uh, the gods were thinking, well, Steffi's had all the luck. It's about time we cried for a rancher. She's tried everything out here. She's run for everything, as she always does. Let's, let's at least give her a breather and give her a, a slight respite. And who knows, if, if a rancher can break graph and uh, can hold serve in the first game uh, on the resumption, whenever that happens to be, and then can break... that way. It's actually brightening up from the direction in which the clouds have come. But... Uh... What a performance this has been by Steffi Graf. Even in the second set where she lost, she was playing well. That's right. The nice thing now, I mean, in a way, you sort of hope a rancher can get a couple of games and, and make it really exciting again. But the, the, the uh, one thing that is important is that we will go away from the women's tournament thinking about the final, what a great final it was, and then we can forget about some of the... To remember, as far as the weather's concerned. 
it's raining now even harder than, than ever before and those that haven't brought umbrellas although I think many believe the forecast are getting dreadfully wet well we're going to uh, take a break now and going to go to the rugby in South Africa the uh, quarter final between South Africa and, uh, and uh, it really will be worth having a look at that as I said you'll be back with David and I and Steffi and Arantia just as soon as the covers are off so stay with us and uh, enjoy the rugby from South Africa. It's five love and the... You're live with us here at Roland Garris. As you can see, the sun is out, but it may be just about to set on Arantxa Sanchez Vicario's chances of retaining her title. She's love five as we resume. Deciding set. For those of you who just joined us, it's been a terrific match. One of the best in the history of French Open ladies' finals. First set to Graf, 7-5. Second set to Arantxa Sanchez Vicario, 6-4. It's love five, Arantxa serving. Forty minutes since she last hit a big forehand, but it's still working well. And what a patient rally Graf played there. She waited for the right moment and then unleashed that big forehand to move to within two points of the title. been for much of this set. Two match points now for Steffi Graf for her fourth French title. As it was. Match point number two. player moves back to where she belongs a magnificent effort from Arantxa Sanchez Vicario but on the day she was beaten by a better player great moments for Steffi this will mean so much to her because she's beaten Arantxa on a rancher's surface Arantxa is at her best at clay nice to see the two fathers shaking hands there and Steffi, after all the trials and tribulations and injuries of last year and the early part of this, has come out and proved herself to be the number one player in the world. And she is, once again, the number one ranked player in the world. Her 16th Grand Slam title. Steffi goes up to where her family are for a short word 
and she really did produce the goods when it mattered. A very iffy semi-final, and she looked on the verge of going out against Conchita. Three all, love 40, but Conchita couldn't finish it. Steffi survived, and here she is. means probably more than just a tennis victory, because I know that this tournament is particularly close to your heart. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, the Grand Slam that I first won, and um, it's been a tough year. I only had four tournaments this year, and it's the first one. And um, to come here and win it was pretty amazing. It means it means even it seems even more moving than than the first time. The way you are receiving this victory seems uh, quite extraordinary. Yeah, because I didn't really expect to be here. You know? I didn't. I didn't think that uh, I could get to the finals. I didn't think I could win. And the crowd has been unbelievable. They've been rooting for me, so it's very special. Is it very special for you to always be here and to play in Roland Garros and to win in Roland Garros? Does this, 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 does this mean really everything for you? Absolutely, because you know it's maybe not my favorite surface. It's, it's, I know I always have to work for it, and I know it's always tough because there's so many players who play very well on it. And to become here and, and to win it, yeah, I mean, it's extraordinary. Just wish I would be able to speak French. <laughs> Next year. Merci beaucoup, Stéphie. Thank you. A lovely girl. And a fitting world number one again. 25 matches she's played this year, a year in which she's been uh, plagued by injury, and she's won all 25. Talking of injuries, we shouldn't forget, Simon, that Arantxa had her first serious injury this year when she twisted an ankle badly in uh, the United States. Kept her out of the game for a couple of months, and I think maybe that fine-tuning in terms of stamina showed in the third set. Doesn't detract at all from the quality of grass performance, but I think maybe if Arantxa hadn't had that couple of months off, she could maybe have Mesdames done messieurs, better in the third set. La coupe Suzanne Langlais. It was a devastating win. Christian Lim, President of the Federation Francaise de Tennis, and Philippe Chatrier, member of the Presentation Party, Christian Lim, the President of the French Tennis Federation, together with Philippe Chatrier, former President of the French Tennis Federation and the International Tennis Federation. To present the uh, Suzanne Longon Cup. No. Great deal of respect between those two. And Arantxa gave her every sort of problem she had won. des Internationaux de France, 1995. Steffi Graf. She's been here before, but as you could sense with her interview with Nelson Montfort, it feels just as good. And prolonged applause for a really gutsy loser. And she had the misfortune to meet Steffi today on one of her very best days. Twice champion, of course, herself, Arantxa. And it would be a brave man who'd bet on her not doing it again. Oh, well, she'll be back. I was just thinking, Simon, I, I don't think I've ever known Steffi quite so emotional in the moment of triumph. It's meant so much to come back and win here. Two girls who, between them, have won 113 titles. Now 19 Grand Slams. A few words from Steffi to the crowd here. No, I, I go ahead. <laughs> well, I wish by now I would be able to speak French. I'm sorry. The only thing I can say is... Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you. <laughs> now, I want to start thanking the crowd. I mean, you've been unbelievable. I, want, I really want to thank you for all for staying, even with the weather and everything. I think we, we had a great atmosphere out there. I enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> Uh, 
but I also want to congratulate on Arantxa coming to the finals and uh, now she's won it so many times so it was my turn again. <laughs> I'll be forgetting that for a moment that uh, she's won it three but times I, herself. I also want to thank everybody that helped me get here because a couple of weeks ago I wasn't sure I would be here. So all the people over there, all my friends, I want to thank you. Well, um, I just say that I'm really happy things. As David said, not seen her as emotional in the whole of her career. It's been a difficult year, and there were moments when everyone doubted whether she'd be back here. But she has, and uh, she's proved her decision to carry on absolutely right. I want to thank all those who have supported her, all those who have allowed her to be here in the final, because in a few days she didn't feel very well. And I want to thank all those who are in the tribune, at her side. Et puis bien sûr, elle a félicité Arantxa, qui a gagné plusieurs fois ici, en disant que cette fois, c'était sans doute son tour. And a few words now from the Spanish runner-up. Je voulais... Je parle un peu français, alors j'espère que tout le monde comprend. And she's still winning people around. Premier, je voulais féliciter Steffi. Félicitations pour gagner cette année. Congratulating Steffi for having a great tournament. Après, tout le monde pour venir à des matchs jeudi. C'est un peu difficile pour moi, mais je vais un peu malade cette semaine. Mais arriver à la finale pour moi c'est fantastique. Alors j'espère que l'année prochaine. Tough to play someone playing as well as Steffi. Je veux lui dire merci à mes amis pour Barcelone qui est venu à des matchs de Merci pour tout. Mes familles, mes frères, Emilio pour rester toute la semaine pour garder cette match. Merci, mon coach Gabriel. My mama, coach Gabriel, Earthy. <laughs> Papa, Erola, Mama, Dad, and I hope to return here in the next year. Thank you and see So the cup goes to the champion. And uh, Scenes that even the losing family can enjoy. And if a rancher keeps up the kind of form that she's been showing this year, she, as we've been hinting, could well be in Steffi's place next year or in the years to come. And we must hope that uh, the rumours that we were talking about, that Steffi might be about to retire after Wimbledon, that they are without foundation. With these two and Monica coming back and Conchita, and Mary Pierce ever improving. That's right. I mean, uh, women's tennis has been going through a tough time, but there's some new young stars: Martina Hingis, Venus Williams, 14 years of age, coming on. Mary Pierce, the winner in Australia, Monica Sarish. We hope coming back. Who knows about Jennifer Capriati? But the best news of all is that we've had a, a great final. We had two of the most competitive sets you could ever wish to see. And then a wonderful performance from Graf in the in the third set. And the biggest winner of all today has been women's tennis. Yes, it has. And uh, a fitting repost to the uh, decision earlier in the week to put the quarterfinals out on court A. The Women's Tennis Association, I know, is pretty upset and is in the process of having some fairly meaningful words with the French Federation. And they'll use this as... Uh, hefty ammunition. It's been the best match on centre court this year. Great moments and uh, for now Arantxa has forgotten the disappointment of losing. And uh, if tomorrow's final is half as good, we'll be very happy. We certainly will. 
and the, I'll tell you one thing, it's going to be a rare old battle, isn't it, between two of the most cussed competitors, most determined men. Uh, they have all the characteristics of a rancher, don't they? They'll hustle, they'll bustle, and they'll run for everything. Chang against Muster. It'll be a fight to the death, quite literally. We've got a wonderful afternoon of sport tomorrow on Eurosport. And uh, the highlight for us, of course, will be bringing you that. Hope you can join us for it. And we leave you with the match point. And the moment when Steffi Graf, amidst much emotion, as we were to find out later, you. claimed her fourth but, uh, Probably, you know, uh, I wish I would have a little more energy today, and uh, but, you know, nothing happened. I think that... Uh, I think there's a great tournament for me and I have to be very happy with my success because I've been playing, you know, pretty good and um, now I'm just, you know, looking forward for the next one. So Sanchez loses her number one spot to Graf and afterwards I asked the German what she felt was the key to winning the third set so easily. I think Arancha was getting a little tired. The first set had been very close. The set could easily have gone to her. In the second set, I dictated the points very well. And perhaps I didn't end them so well. But she had to put a lot of effort in, had to run a lot. And I think in the third set, she was getting tired. It's nothing new for you to have won a Grand Slam title. But what does your 16th title mean to you? A great, great deal. I certainly wasn't expecting it when I came here at the start of the tournament. I just tried to do my best but I wasn't counting on winning. Seen in the whole context of your back injury and the fact that you've only played 25 matches this year, is it perhaps a minor miracle that you've won a Grand Slam title? Yes, in some ways it is. And that's why I was very emotional after the match, because I really hadn't expected it. I didn't know how well prepared I was and how fit I was and how well I could last the tournament. Congratulations. Thanks. Stephanie Graf, the 1995 French Open Women's Singles Champion. Her mother delighted, her father delighted. It's the fourth time she's won the title, and she returns to the top of the women's rankings, which means she'll certainly be the top seed at Wimbledon. Stay with us for news of the doubles and a preview of tomorrow's men's singles final.